our special guest of honor, the former governor of Ekiti State, our dear brother and friend, Iron Dele Peter Fayoshe, Iron Peter the Rock, Your Excellency the Deputy Governor, our own distinguished Senator Barry Piggy, representing River Southeast, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, our dear leaders of the state, the chiefs from Obama community, and other chiefs from Degema local government, the chairman of Degema local government council, and other leaders of the party from Degema, our traditional, other traditional rulers that are here, our dear women and other people who have come to entertain us here, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. A special guest of honor, let me, on behalf of the government and people of the state, most sincerely thank you and I appreciate you for honoring our invitation in spite of the short notice that was given to you. Each time we call you, to identify with us in this state, you've always identified with us without looking back. So let me sincerely thank you for this honor. The Commissioner for Special Projects has given description of this school. But let me thank the Deputy Governor for bringing to my attention of the state of this school. And when I send people, if you look at the pictures, how this school was, we have been able to put in our best to make it be a proper secondary school that our children will not only have access to education, but also have quality education. I'm sure by the time you take your time, few minutes to go around uh, some of the uh, structures, you will quite convinced of the quality that we'll be able to put in this place. All through this week, we have been busy trying to see, let the people understand what we are doing in the education sector. Before, people were saying, is it only road, 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 road? Now, since Monday, we have been talking about tertiary education. We are now talking about basic education. By the time we finish, we also go back to the health sector and let the state see what we have done in the health sector. So for me, it is touching all around the sectors uh, because no one sector can be said to be more important. But ideally, why we are trying to do more of the roads because roads attract development. If there are no roads, people will not go and build houses. If there are no roads, people will not invest. But when you have good network of roads, that will encourage people who want to invest in the state to do so. And so we're happy that we're here. This terrain is water. So it will be difficult if you don't do concrete pavement like this. If you want to asphalt it, I don't think it will last long. But what this concrete they've done, I'm sure it's going to last long. I was surprised when I was told that this uh, school does not have accommodation, I mean a hostel. I will therefore direct 
the Ministry of Special Projects to immediately design not more than two weeks, design hostel accommodation, but don't go and design something that is bogus. I hope it's a, a mixed school. Or is it girl school? It's mixed school. So one, I didn't call you, just listen to what I said. I didn't call you. So design for the boys and design for the girls. And then also there'll be a dining hall for them. Since you are providing accommodation for the teachers, then there should be hostel for the, uh, for the students. So on this note, let me invite our special guest of honor to talk to you and then go forward and commission this school. Thank you and God bless you.